What's up, y'all? Long time no see. So, I have not vlogged in absolutely ages, I feel like. So, I'm going to vlog today because I'm doing a bunch of fun things today. And by fun things, I mean making videos and I need to edit a video because I have not posted on YouTube for a good week or so now, which is very unusual for me because usually I like to post on YouTube, like, at least every week. So, it feels weird not posting, but this video, which I'm doing right now, like, takes a long, long time to edit, so that's the reason why I haven't been posting, because I've just been working on this one video, which I'm posting, which takes a long time to edit. Like, I thought I'd have it edited within, like, two days or so after I've made the video, but no. I filmed that video... When would I have filmed it? Oh, I filmed it right about last week-ish, and to this day, on Saturday, it's still not been nearly edited yet but I'm nearly done now so hopefully I should be able to upload it today but anyway so yes yeah, some editing videos today and filming all the things and all the things well yes but today I actually want to go to somewhere which I'll be able to celebrate autumn too so I think I might go to a garden centre or something because I have not been to a garden centre in absolutely ages and um, one of my favourite things to do during autumn and winter it's just going to a garden centre for some reason, so I think that's what I'm doing today. I'm also just going to um, do things, so yeah, enjoy this weird vlog. Okay y'all, so I've done all the things I needed to do, which were just things that were boring and um, important to do, so I did all that, so now I'm off to a garden centre now because you're know, interested in days where you're just like, you know what? I'm going to go visit a nice garden centre, celebrate the autumn aesthetic and just go for an autumnal walk. That's one of those days today, so that's where I'm going now. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm in this very fancy cafe and I got myself a Victoria sponge cake, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it's Victoria sponge cake, so it looks good. So it's just like a basic cake, like jam and um, sugary flour and things, so it looks good, so I cannot wait to eat this thing. Alright, so I think I'm all gone centred out now, so that was really good. The sponge cake was alright-ish, I think, but I could have had something more tastier, but anyways, um, it was all good, so yeah, now I'm just walking across this park now, because I'm, I want to kind of go home now, so that's what I'm doing right now, so oh. Alright, so I'm home now, and yes, why is the camera so dark, I have no idea. I think it's because my room's like generally dark, like you have to say blue walls, I think that's what's kind of like happening here, like the blue is like reflecting onto these walls, so that's what's making this room like really dry, I mean dry, really dark even. So yeah, that's why this camera is like really dark because this room's like just generally a dark room anyway, but I'm home now and so I need to make dinner, but I'm not sure what to have for dinner and that's the thing, I need to think. I am no good at thinking of what to have for dinner. And I think it's because there's so much food you can have for dinner, like there's that much things you can choose from that you just don't know what to have because your mind just goes blank, so. That's the problem I'm kind of facing right now. I just don't know what to have for dinner, but I'm gonna get changed now into some pajamas and then yell. Okay, so I've just decided what I'm having for tea. So for tea, I'm going to cook the TikTok feta pasta thing, which was a trend on TikTok um, earlier this year. So it was like a tomato -y feta pasta thing, which I've never actually tried even when it when the trend was like at its peak in like January and February, so I've never tried it before, so I thought tonight's the night where I'd try it because 
I love feta cheese. Like feta cheese is like one one of my favourite cheeses. So to have one pasta might sound good. So I've just um, ordered the tomatoes and cheese on delivery. So that should come soon. And then I'll um, cook the pasta. So that should be good. Okay, so I'm making the pasta thing right now. So first we're supposed to add your tomatoes into like... A baking dish thing so the reason why the tomatoes in the colonies because I just washed it so I you need to wash your tomatoes so I'm using like baby plum tomatoes for this thing because that's what you're supposed to do and then um, just swirl it around in here and um, get a good old spoon kind of like give it a swirl around and you're supposed to add some oil to it so I don't have the posh like oil pourer thing so I have to do the good old way of like pouring it into this lid and then pouring it onto the tray. So you're supposed to make sure all the tomato is like coated with olive oil and so is the cheese as well so you don't need to add your feta into the middle of the um, thing and then um, yeah. Okay, so here's what the tomato thing looks like now. So, as you can see, I coated the tomato with oil, added the feta cheese in, coated that with oil. So, I'm going to add these seasonings and things now. So, don't worry, I am going to season this thing because this is not going in yet without any seasoning. So, do not worry, I am seasoning this thing. But, yeah, it looks really good, guys. I love it. Some coriander. Some pepper and lots of it as well because apparently you need loads and loads of pepper into this dish. Some mixed herbs. And there you have this um, dish. I don't know if you can see it or not but here's what the dish looks like. So I'm going to put this in the oven now and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay so the feta pasta things in the oven now. So I'm going to cook up some pasta soon but... You're supposed to put the tomato sauce thing in at like 350 degrees, which um, my oven doesn't go up to that. It's like it only goes up to 220. So I think the 350 is more like an American kind of thing, which is always really frustrating. Like every time I've got a recipe, like website thing, and it says something like, put it in the oven at around about 700 Fahrenheit. Um, it's really frustrating because in the UK we don't really say Fahrenheit or use that way of measuring oven temperature, like we just do degrees, so it's always really frustrating because I have to then like Google how to convert Fahrenheit into degrees and it takes a lot of time, so it's also really frustrating as well, like when you go on a recipe, like if you went on a recipe to try and find a good cookie recipe, and this baker like goes on about his life story and doesn't actually post the recipe. So he'll say something like, when I was 10, my father found this recipe and I've used it ever since then. And like doesn't even like post the recipe. It's just him going on and on and on about his life and things. That's also really frustrating as well. Like the amount of times I've had to go on different baking websites to try and find this one recipe is um, too much. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for that to cook now. So you're supposed to cook it for around about 35 minutes. So, in the meantime, I'm going to tidy up and then cook my pasta. Oh my God, guys, this looks so good. I am obsessed. So I just made this pasta right now. So that's eventually gonna go onto the thing here. So now I'm supposed to crush it up and like turn it into like kind of a sauce kind of and then put the pasta and blend it in with the sauce and it makes amazing feta dish. Okay, I'm going to taste it now see what it tastes like. So I'll get some pasta. Okay. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have finally edited the video that I've been working on for the longest time now, I have finally edited and it's now exporting as we speak so I feel like I have achieved quite a lot tonight so yeah. Oh by the way, I haven't really told you guys how the pasta tasted. It tasted actually quite nice actually, it's very filling so I couldn't eat it all but 
it was really nice like it was very salty I will say that it was quite salty but I actually like really salty savory food so that was kind of right up my alley but I know some people might like, not like salty foods but I do so yeah anyways I need to clean up right now because I kind of I left a mess in the kitchen so I need to clean the kitchen up and then I need to also film another video tonight which I'm not going to edit like I swear if I ever see my editing app on my laptop ever again for the next few days I am honestly going to scream like I feel like over the last few days that's all my eyes have ever been glued to is the editing app to edit this video so I don't think I'll be touching my editing app for a long time now but I'm going to film some videos tonight because I want to and I just feel like filming videos tonight so yeah. Okay so let me just turn the TV down for a little bit because the TV is quite loud but yes I've just filmed a video which was actually really funny so I was filming a video where I was reacting to something and it was honestly the most funniest thing ever so I'm not sure when I'll upload that but I still need to um, upload that other video so it's been exported now so I need to upload that video and um, yeah so I'm going to now just chill out um, tonight because it's actually quite late at night and so yeah that's what tonight is going to be like guys so I'm not sure, I'm not, wow, I can't speak today. I'm not sure if I'll vlog or I'm not sure, but if I don't vlog, then I'll see you guys in another video. But if I do end up vlogging more tonight, then um, here's the next clip. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you.